for our was it five millionth live live and in person X Wing stream now our third week in a row of doing in person X Wing. It's a solo show today. Notice I don't have anybody here with me. I am all alone. That's okay. I actually kind of am excited to do one of these by myself because I've been blessed with having co-commentators this whole time. So it's a good, good challenge to see how I can hold up on my own, me, myself, and the chat. But we got four rounds of X-Wing today. And we got our players we'll mic'd up as well. Uh, and super excited to bring you guys this game. Of course, four rounds, as I said today, starting with Salvage Mission. The time has started. We'll break down the list here in a moment for you, but let me open up betting first. And betting is now open. So why not get six A-Wings on stream versus Scum? I mean, we're, I'm here for the people, and uh, I have answered. <laughs> so I'll do these. I'll break down the list here real quick. We've got the Mandalorian with the child, Mandalorian Optics. And Razor Crest, that is Dan McGinn on the left side playing Scum here. And then we've got Dirge. Dirge has Marksmanship, Sync Lasers, and Contraband Cybernetics. Manaru with Notorious, Agile Gunner, Contraband, Punishing One Title, and R5P8. Bosk, the heaviest hitter in the list, with Marksmanship, Dead Man Switch. And Quinn Jast rounding out the list at Ion Cannon and Burnout Thrusters. That allows you to do a five straight 5K if you really wanted to, which is pretty hilarious. Now, Steven's side representing Team USA as well as the Rebellion. Congrats to Steven. Not only did he win his Team USA game by a wide margin, but he also just got a job. So if you uh, in the chat say congrats, Steven, I'm sure you'll watch this back. You would really appreciate the love. Happy for him. Harrison Duel leading off the list here with Munitions, Failsafe, Vector, Standardized Cannons, and Magpul's Warheads. Then we've got Jake Farrell. Farrell, how do you guys say it? With Vector, Munitions, Failsafe, Rockets, Marksmanship, Starbird, Slash, Wedge, Antilles, Baby Wedge with vectored cannons, crack shot, and marksmanship. And we've got Sabine Wren with the cannons, Beskar, Mandalorian optics, and clan training. Keo Venzi's got them prockets and vectored, and vectored on Arvel, starboard slash, and crack shot. Very, very exciting. All right, so betting is open. Bet early, bet often. Let's listen in on the players real quick. Manor's gonna grab focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, J-Man. Uh, those agree. are my it's threes. Pretty, pretty dope. Cool. Uh, all right, my fours. And let's do wedge. Wedge is going to do four straight. So and what's Steven, on wedge? Uh, crack shot in, in marksmanship. Going pretty fast. A-wings like to go fast. The slowest they can go is a two straight, which still seems pretty fast. And let's grab a focus. I'm putting these force tokens out here. So cool. So there is our uh, player view. Again, we are at live yeah, at Dungeon Cat. More force tokens. I'll put them out there. Exclamation point. All right, so that's your four. DC to get the roll better link. You can see lists and to see who is playing in this event. This is an official event. We got 16 players filled up the whole store. So world's invite will be rewarded. The final game will that we will show who can who could possibly win the world's invite that fourth round. The window light, I know. And thankfully, it's not um, a problem on like on the stream, right? Like this morning when I was setting up, the, the streaks were going right through the dice cam. I'm like, uh-oh, that could be a problem. But went away like an hour before we started streaming, so which is awesome. Pretty dope. Let's fix our first player tokens here as Steven's name is a little obstructed. Still using the new dice box dice cams. Pretty sweet. Been really happy with it. And again, shout out to Andrew for making that happen for us. Uh, let's see. Also, the scenarios. I have to. Might have to move that over. Let's move it over here for now. kind of in the way no matter what huh it's fine let's flip it maybe make it smaller maybe put it up here no it all looks bad no matter where it is that's fine we'll do that there for now and then we can move it over if an a-wing dies 
yeah, Steven is one of the nicest players in X-Wing, for sure. We have plenty of nice people. Focus. So I will be here with you guys, but we'll use the player audio a little bit more than usual. It's because it's so quiet over here. Do too hard. So we've got two types of formations that Steven is rocking right now. So we've got Hera and Jake kind of coming up towards the top of the board. It's a good tag team, by the way. Jake giving focuses that Hera can throw around. Love it. Pretty good. And then we've got the block at the top. We've got Arvel, we've got Sabine, and it's like, I think, and Keo's on the right side. So Arvel and Sabine. We're checking range. Is it in? I think we're shooting. Uh, yeah. All right, cool, cool. Yep. All right. So looks like the Mandalorian does have a pot shot. Downtown, range three. In to Wedge and Tilly's here as we get our first dice roll of the day. Throw that cup in there. A little bit of everything. Hit, blank, and an eyeball. It's what we call trail mix here in the industry. There we go. Let's get those shadows a little. Nice. So we're just going to leave it, I think. Oh, gosh. Well, throw the evade. You have a focus anyways, you would have been fine, but still. Kind of scary, rolling that many blanks so early on. Fair enough. Uh, um, and then Dirge has no shot. Yeah. All right, so, so Wedge, Wedge will shoot you back, so it'll be 2v2 because of Wedge. Oh, right. Yep, Wedge will reduce the Mandalorian's agility by one, his uh, ability we'll here. Focus, Make we'll it two after spending the focus. Okay. Hit crit with marksmanship. Uh, so... I spend an evade and a force, and then you crack shot me, right? Is what would happen. Yeah. Gonna have to spend everything here. We'll take a shield, assuming that crack shot happens. Uh, so I will. I'll spend the evade and the force. Crack shot. Crack yep. shot. So crack I take shot one spent. damage. One damage going through in the Mandalorian. I'll cross off crack shot and wedge. I mean, hey, you got it out of the way early. In a you know maybe less meaningful engagement as that was just the first engage. Checking over here now. All right, so Bosk range three. Wow, even Bosk has a shot. Uh, All right, your four is because you're first player. Yeah, this four shot and that four. Okay, so yep. it's just my four and then. Yep. All right, here's Dan's um, roll. I'm Oof. gonna pick it up. Keep the focus. Nothing. Again. All right. Uh, shoot you back. Yep. So. Two dice. Uh, yep. So Arvel to boss. Uh, let's spend the focus for two. Okay. And I'm rolling three. Uh, Squiggles. Yeah. Good job, boss. Okay, boss. Get it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. And then Sabine, I think it was. All right, do we have another shot here? Sabine, no. no. And, all right, cool. Some surprising shots. I think both players were surprised um, by the fact that they actually had shots there. Let's see. Let me make sure. I think that's a first player token. You guys will see just a little bit of artifacting going on at the top and i think that is because our first player boom we're good it's little things all right guys how has your weekend been talk to me talk to me you guys have been enjoying gsp's coverage in montreal pretty cool that dion is able to go over to canada to stream some x-wing that's what it's all about man so if you guys happen to be watching both streams or just jumped over here to say hi appreciate it I think we'll probably build up folks watching our live coverage today as the Montreal Canada X-Wing Expo shenanigan exp extravaganza Thunderdome event kind of wraps up. They are a couple hours ahead of us as well.
So exclamation point DC, you can check out Dungeon Cat, their website, and the Roll Better link for this event. It is official, as I said. World's Invite is on the line. I'll have to grab the World's Invite from Carrie to show it off to you guys. 16 player minimum, as we all very well know these days, required to be able to award the World's Invite to the winner of the event. Mine had exactly 16 that I won at. Got lucky there. However, I think if... I'm curious. If I... If it had ended up only being... Like, let's say... This is so weird just being over here. Let's let's say I my event only had 15 or 14 or whatever. Not enough people. Would I have been able to say, like, hey, AMG, I didn't get the world's invite at Gen Con because I thought I had won one already, but do I get one from Gen Con? Because you would think that they'd be like, well, if you made top four, you get it anyways. But it would have been... I, I could have been kind of stressful. I don't know. For those of you guys that have had to deal with playing an event that just missed it, I am sorry. I, hopefully you're able to reach out to them and maybe they'll make an exception for you. It doesn't hurt to try. So, does not hurt to try. It's tough. A lot of a lot of stores, you know, they're in areas where it's just not as easy to get people. At least, you know, especially getting up to 16. That is a lot of people. Not, no small number. Get that good ASMR. All right, here we go. I think it's road roll time. Roll again. Yeah. Wow, they tied. So I rolled the same thing. Whoa! Oh, let's just keep rolling. Hey, hey, now we go. Again. Three hits. Two focuses. All right. Super Two duper. ties right. that you don't System see that phase. every day. <laughs> uh, System phase stuff. Hi, Josh. Yep, bets betting is open. Don't think we've got. I think we've only got one bet so far. Got just a couple of people watching right now. That's all right. We did really well with with the crossroads. We had almost a hundred people watching by the last round. Had some great feedback from everybody there, and um, including Mark Moriarty, who's a TO. Very, pr very Arl's much appreciated. Okay. Kio is good. Jake's gonna stress. So, talking about the Vector Cannon's boost here in the system phase, Jake uh, is going to be the boost. one to elect to bank boost, which will award a focus token to either... Well, it's a focus action, so it would be Hera to take the focus action, because he would be stressed. Unless um, Wedge is in. I don't know if Wedge is in. We'll check. So, range one to Hera, so Hera will get a focus. Yep. Jake's ability, pretty good um, in this game. What did I do with Hera? We did that. So, no... Yeah, so nothing for... Nothing for Wedge, nothing for Hera, uh, or nothing for Wedge. So then yeah. your, your systems. All right. Um, uh, spending a Mandalorian optics charge. Yep. To take J Man. A yellow I don't buy into it either, but then I watched Steven play with it, and sense? he. I mean, it just depends on who you're That's playing. It. Like Jake, I think could right, be really so good with it because I'm you get to. You don't have to Correct. worry as much okay. about so making Manaroo it work once he's activated. Off with a one bank. Yep. But it is hard. It's like I'm not super into, um, what is it, uh, sensitive controls, but people are really good with it. Like Blackout with sensitive is pretty interesting, but I'm still not into it. Uh, and then I'm just going to grab a box. Makes sense. All right, Quinjast is doing a five straight. I think we're bumping. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're bumping. out of whack so bump mm -hmm. <laughs> should be good now cool uh and then quinn is gonna go that's ahead true jake can use his ability twice yep i mean although he could barrel roll boost in activation and still use his ability twice but yeah. yes uh, that's true i think the timing is actually better with vector where are you going him. Do I want to take that red focus? Do I just want to keep it there? As we listen into the players, the box, this mic'd up moment is brought to you by Sperry. Sperry, he's there for you. And he screams x for no reason. Um, Unless I get a shot at Keo. Yeah, we are going to take that red focus. 
All right. Red focus on Quinjast. Quinjast doing the red focus. Uh, all right, so those are my threes. You go to your threes. Huh. All right, so Keo slash Sabine. Who are we starting with? I think it looks like Sabine Ren is activating right now. I need to get a little mark out of the way there for a little fly through. No starboard slash on Sabine Ren. How many people in this tournament? There are 16. Exactly 16. In official events here at Dungeon Cat in Glen Ellen, Illinois. Get ready to make some Illinois. Yes, sir. Very cool indeed. Is this a self bump? Oh no! Stop that! <laughs> it worked Marvel. out for me. For a second there, I was just like, it's "Oh not no, gonna... this is a bump into like, the right. fight." Of course, yeah, right. I'm down for that. Yeah, right. So Arvel um, likes it, actually, because Arvel's ability, of course, was okay. a Radin. And then treat it as range one or range zero attack. Kyo's a two straight. <laughs> Six A-wings, what the hell? Indeed. That's what we're here for. You kidding me? Of course I'm putting that on stream. You freaking kidding me? You freaking kidding? Okay, great. So we've got... We've got boxes taken here by both Sabine and Keo to two potential crate carriers here entering round two. Ooh, does that fit? Does the bank fit? It looks like it does. It looks like you got plenty of space. Oh, a ton of space. You freaking kidding me? And at that price, he can hit. For those of you, I think you should leave fans, AKA J Man. He can hit. <laughs> it's six always like Power Rangers fighting against space. Yep. The power of paper cuts. Yeah, how's the league going for you, J Man? So that lock was from Mandalorian Optics from Sabine. That's why Bosk has a lock from Sabine on him. Now it's time to uh, do you take a crate? Because Wedge Antilles is out there. He's looking fierce. He's looking angry. And he does take the crate. Wedge Antilles now coming. Are we doing a two bank? Are we going straight? Where? <gasps> a three bank? That won't clear? I don't think. No, it shouldn't. It is a block. All right. Not bad from Bosky Boy. Not bad at all. Does he take the red focus? He... Wait, that cleared? No way. That cleared? It looked like it blocked. What? There's no way. Holy smokes. So this way I was averaging 22 points per game. Yeah, but you were like lost your first two rounds, right? That's crazy. Barrel. Let's listen in. I think it's probably the same boss. We're just going to grab a focus. All right. That is Jake grabbing a focus okay. on Steven's I'll side. That up there. My fives. Correct. Correct. Okay. So we'll start with the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian's going to go one straight. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in gold, he says to the crate. So you're going to have that sweet, sweet range one shot. Which well, that looks good like. for the Mandalorian. The lock already. We're not getting shot by either of these guys. 
So a, we will go ahead an and grab a focus. No, oh, okay. makes sense. You're getting shot so up by Jake. Mandalorian is. Focused He's all up. loaded up. Okay, He's and then up. Dirge is doing a three bank. Yep. Indeed, Mega Silver. Indeed, quite the matchup here as Dan McGinn bringing his Mandalorian squad. Steven bringing his own Mandalorians. Sabine Wren, of course, a Mandalorian. A DeLorean Mandalorian. How many today? 16 players, four rounds. This is round one. Here in Glen Ellen, Illinois. Dungeon Cat Gaming. I'm going to reopen betting just temporarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those of you that didn't get a chance, um, you have a chance. One last chance. One last chance engagement. My boost is again in range two, I think so. We'll find out. We're gonna. Oh, we, the way this works is we focus first. Yeah, focus, stress, boost. Yeah, focus, stress, boost. So focus. Judge, judge, stress judge. Boost. Just kidding. It's all right, everybody. You can all calm down just a little What's bit here. Get in there. Everything's okay. So Dirge gonna focus red boost straight, trying to line up the bullseye for a dead to right so shot. Focus, although he doesn't have proton he cannons, he's got synced lasers. Which just gives him three attack dice right. at range so two. Survives. That's my five. Back to turn. Except Herod ain't gonna be there. Force of die six, moving now. So I was just trying to get range for the sync laser cannons. I think you still got range three on Hera right now. So does Hera take a lock or right. the mag pulse so the warhead? Is, is do I grab the evade? If you mag pulse. Mag Pulse Mando, his shot into Wedge is a lot worse. He's going to be critted. He's going to be jammed. He's going to be depleted. The sweeps, the creeps, the beeps. You're going to have the one shot. The pain on the Sabine a -wing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, not taking a lock. Interesting. So here comes Hera. Hera taking a primary shot. You got Bosk, you got the Mando. The three in the Bosk. Okay. In the Bosk, trying to knock off so the crate. Here. All right, so here's the shot. Two dice, primary, range three, into Bosk. And Bosk is taking it. Off shield, very oh. bad. Bosk, we need an evade there, buddy. Oh, uh, Bosk. Bosk. Taking a shield in the crate gets knocked off our favorite Trandosian bounty hunter. Not great, Bob. And Steven's going to place that Carolina crate. Looks like back close to Quinn Jast, although Quinn going the other way, also in line with Arvel Crinid. He could snag one next turn. Nice placement there for Steven. As he gets lucky, his, his, his plan was for some RNG to take over. He said, Jesus, take the wheel. And Jesus did oblige. He took the wheel. Keep knocking the dice cam around. Uh, have to have a word. But the Mando is going to take the range one. Here's click. Mando shot. This is a juicy one. <laughs> there is no click in this list. Steven says he plays against like the entire game of green dice wedge, variants. Yep. So yep. Four dice. The good, bad, and the ugly. Indeed. We all have been there, haven't we? Uh, let's see. So. You have a target lock? Uh, yes, but I can spend the force yeah because i have Ooh, well hold on maybe i can't do this is there anyone else in range two? you gotta focus because the way it works is right while you defend or perform an attack if you are in the front arc at range mm -hmm. one to two of two of more enemy ships nope. you may change one of your blanks it's like range three for both of them so i'm not so i will have to spend the target lock which is what i will do can't okay. change the blank spending the lock all right so spending the target lock See, did we already pick that up? Yeah, I grabbed it All for right, you. Thank yep. you. And then we will spend the focus. The focus that's so four. Four hits. In to wedge a blank out. Roll statistically average. Um, no. Here we'll pass an evade. Let mm -hmm. me make sure that that's range two. Yeah. It is. So we pass. 
Taking two. Uh, take two shields and wedge. Okay. The wedge Final halved, two. half damaged. Two shield on wedge. All right. Coming. Um. All right, you're fours because you are first player. All right, so then three dice from Bosk. Three dice. Yeah, was, this is range one somehow. They didn't bump. Uh, Marksman. Oh my gosh. Good. Oh, this could be it for Wedgie Boy. Um, Hero will pass. Yeah. And takes a crit. A direct will finish off Wedge and Tilly's. He's splitting the, the damage thing. And splitting the two. Oh, yeah, wedge, is, he, wedge is. Wedge is. A, we'll get simultaneous fire. So that wedge plus. goes down yeah. as Bosk's ability in the Z95 procs. I almost forgot about it. He splits yeah, the crit, adds the damage. Oh, yeah. That's just enough to finish right. off Wedge so and Tilly's. Nice roll, by the way. How, how, uh, yeah, that how was a very lucky wedge roll. Four? No, he's three points. He's only wedge is only three points. Yes, Jake yeah. and Hera, as he should the, be. He shouldn't be pointers. four. Come right. on, get so, out here. So we'll start with wedge simultaneous fire. So range wedge one next boss. So before be he goes three off. One, three three wedges one. And Bosk is one shield down right now. Correct. One shield done. He has three health. Uh, we'll spend the focus. Okay. For two. Uh, for hit two crits. Hits. Okay. Uh, for two crits actually, because marksmanship. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. All right, and I'm rolling one. All right, let's see that evade, Bosk. Boss gets is. the evade, uh, takes a shield. Second shield. Cool. Okay. All right, so Wedge will come off. So he's three? He's three. Okay, great. And then I'll update the scoreboard in a second. So that's going to be a three-point lead so far for Dan McGinn Scum. Shooting ahead, three nothing. Next up, we've got Jake Pharrell Williams. He's checking for Bullseye here. Does he have it? Let's listen in once more. So I think Bullseye is a no, so we're just out. No. Oh, no. very close, but just out. So it would be a primary into Bosk. You have a chance to take him down. He's got no tokens, and he's already lost his two shields. So in to Bosk. Thank you, Stephen Rapoy. Jake Farrell's roll. Just one. Not going to do it, Bosk. Rolls. I think maybe too many dice, but I guess it was range three. I thought it was range. I thought it was range two. It must have been range three. I trust the players. They're checking range all the time. Range three. Looks like Manaru does have the shot. Manaruski going in to Harrison Duel. This is a chance for Faramir, Captain of Gondor, to show his quality. Going to R5 P8 charge here for the reroll. Spend that charge. They, there's another crit. And I think Hera rolls out of it. Uh, Looks like Hera rolled out of it. Yeah, range three. We'll take the range three into Keo. All right, range three into Keo Venzi here. Must be Quinn Jazz shot. I think this is an ion cannon. For two. It is two hits. Keo Venzi. Oh, Keo Venzi. Um, have to spend that force. There would be an ion, yeah? Yep. Does so, that mean a whole lot for me right now? One, dam one damage, one ion. Or you take just the we'll damage. The if you spend force, your force. Then you just take the damage. Just take the damage. Yeah, we'll spend the force. All right. Yeah. So Keo going to have to spend that force to take just a yeah. shield. Some lucky dice rolling here force for Dan McGinn. For one damage. Okay. And by lucky, I mean that Steven's not rolling uh, too pain on any of his greens right now. Keo. All right. And then uh, Sveen, I don't think I have R. On the Mandalorian? Nope. Nope. Um, Arvel will take the range one shot. Into Quinn. Yep. Uh, Arvel right. treating it as range one, even though it's range zero, but Arvel range treats it as range one. Bowser's for one. Okay, rolling oh, Jesus. Three. My goodness gracious. Spend the focus. Yep. To dodge it. Quinn is fine. Um, and then Keo Jazz will take the range and done. three into boss. Okay. You have Enzi range three into Bosk. Can we get some luck? Uh, two two hits. I need Bosk. Evade. Gonna need an evade. Bosk. Uh, yeah. Gonna need to reroll that one. So still not gonna die here, but could roll out of the shot completely, depending on if we get another squiggy. No. Takes Bosk. One. Takes one, still alive. Down to one. So you're at 
two and I'm at four. four. Yep. Yep. So plus one salvage for Dan plus two for Steven as we head into round three. I'll be right back. You're going to see me adjust the dice cam right. on, on screen. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. Hello. Hello there. Dice cam's going to be all whack. I just totally bumped the camera, too. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to have to walk over there one more time, but let's fix the dice cam first. The dice cam needs its needs attention. Good on that side. Good on that side. Good on that side. And... And we're good on that side. Well, next, first player tokens. Let's see. <laughs> Ra -ta -ta -ta. And we're good there. Cool. Fix the other side once it switches. Best day ever. That's pretty awesome. I love it. You love to hear it. You love to, you kind of love to see it. You know what I mean? All right, I'll be right back. There we go. It looks pretty good. So round three underway here as it is. Four to two, Scott and McGinn with a bit of a lead right now. So you can see the scoreboard in front of us. Nice that the players have it facing us. <laughs> I feel bad about that. There's just no room, as you can see, on the other side for them to put it. So it's going to have to be on that side. All right. We're almost ready for the road roll. Who will be the winner of the first player award? Taking a look at where everybody is right now. I really like where Manaru and Dirge are. They're really coming up on the flank nicely. Mandalorian is... I don't know if he's in trouble per se. He could probably 5k. I think he would clear that okay. However, you know what? I stand corrected. Harrison Duel is going to be in the way. He probably can't fit a 5k at all. So I'm not exactly sure where he plans to put, if he tends, plans to just bank the Mandalorian. But could could be vulnerable to a couple of shots. Bosk on one hole, so that's two more points Steven can easily grab next turn. It's going to be tough to get Bosk out of the fight. I mean, you could force straight, I think, with Bosk if you wanted to. I don't know. I mean, maybe just make Steven go out of his way to get him. It is nice and quiet.
there is the road roll, and it's going to be Steven. Steven's the winner. Very nice, Steven. Congratulations on being the lucky recipient of the first player award. Right there, perfect. What's the best strategy to play a vector cannon A wings? Well, what's really nice is if you have any, if you have Mandalorian optics like on Sabine, you can vector boost and then take the free lock with Mandalorian optics, as you can pick the timing of both of them in the system phase. So that's nifty. Um, another thing with vectored is you can set up blocks right you can you can vector even if you're moving last you can get in the way first and then the other thing is just uh you know be willing to fly past ships and turn your turret around the, the thing is when you have higher initiative ships like hera or ahsoka vectored makes i i don't like vectored as much because you can't do the link boost the barrel roll link boost focus link boost evade or lock link boost but lower initiative ships absolutely love it, and I would say that it is very good on chain. If you're unstressed and you don't vector, uh, well, sure, you have your old dial, yeah. But A-Wings have a lot of blues, right? Two hard is blue. Two bank, two straight, three straight, four straight, five straight blue. They wish they had the three bank, like the RZ2 A-Wings, but they don't. Oh, the RZ2s are just so good. Because they uh, they can link boost, they can link rotate. So we have Sabine Ren doing a sloop. I like to see it. Things you love to see it. And here comes Keo Venzi with a with a casual two straight. That force is still spent. The only way you can recover it is if you do a side slip. And Keo can only side slip when your force when the their force is spent as well. Something to keep in mind. Keo Venzi taking the lock on Boss. Okay. We saw a vectored boost earlier from Jake to give Hera the focus. That's why Hera is sitting there with a stress and a focus right now. Next, I think we're doing a one hard. Is that is that the play? You could always do it from the side, but we're opting not to do side to side. Make it a little more, more difficult with the Markaruski. But side to side would have worked there. That would have been just fine. And Arvel. Does Arvel take the package? Does he become a mailman? Some music playing at least on the back or in the back end for myself get some ambient music playing maybe uh, it's kind of nice a little background music to help what i recommend is for those of you guys that don't like things as quiet or my soothing voice you want a little bit extra yeah just put open up spotify apple music whatever the heck you use and if you're not listening to our podcast put some music on get a little background music going for the stream make your own soundtrack if you will it's like, it's like bob ross but x-wing streaming quinn jast justice is served you see unfortunately i don't have any co-commentator to hold hostage and to get approval on my terrible jokes so i'm gonna rely on you all for the feedback and if you hate them then i've done my job if you love them i've done my job manaru gonna go fast and three bank here uh-oh <laughs> so that's a big gun out there for dan very threatening piece that he's got there you've got con you got a notorious of course the notorious m-a-n-a-r-o-o -O. not to be confused with the b-i-g very different artists I like the idea of the podcast being here. That would be really disorienting though, right? Because you'd be hearing my voice double and other people's voices and it would sound like commentary except it would not have nothing to do with the game. But Exclamation point podcast. If you want to listen to the 312 Squadron podcast, you can hear my voice and others. 
on your major podcast platforms. It's been so much fun, though. We've really had a good time. So Arvel didn't end up uh, taking, I think because he was still stressed. That looks like a stress token on Mr. Crinid. So the one Hardy had just retained his stress, so couldn't have picked up a package. Where does that target lock fit, Dan? You found a place. So Jake, staring into the belly of the beast. Well, staring away from the belly of the beast, but too close to the belly of the beast. The beast belly is still right there. Ah, uh, Manaru's the one with the, the crate. I was wondering, I was like, who else has a crate on Dan's side? Manaru. Mana who? Manaru. Jake going to barrel roll here. So not going to have bullseye on anybody pertinent, but gets the focus and gets a little further away from Manaru. I'm not sure if that's going to be range one or still or not. Let's listen in to the players. I want one back or half more in there. Hey. Um, yeah, it feels good. He'll grab a focus. Both with and that. then that target lock is uh, Mamando's target lock. I think you're holding it. Oh, yes. And that's on Jake? That's on Jake. All right, cool, cool. Aha, I tried to steal away a lock. Um, that's my fours. Okay. Uh, so then we're going to go to my four. So Bosk is doing a three bank. Yep. So Bosk we're going does that way, so we need to mark yep. out Jake. Um, I'll see if it fits. It might fit around. You might be able to bend it. Was three making the other way? How about that? You're a genius. All right. Oh, oh my God! Oh, down. Dead. Down goes Bosk. Yeah, Bosk. Down goes Bosk. Yeah, Adam. It was all so smooth until Bosk decided to just eat it. Fell off his skateboard there. So the locks go with him. But he seems fairly safe there. Not sure who, who would be able to shoot at him. Arvel maybe has a shot. So you're out of Keo, you're out of Jake's. And, and Hera Sandula yet to move. It looks like that arc indicator for Hera Sandula is in the back. So we might see a hard turn from Miss Sandula. From Hera Sandula. That's the accent that they use, though. Hera. Very French, just like Ayla. Hello, Sakura. That is me. We, oui, we. Oui. I am a French Jedi. And we, oh, Dirge taking a crate. Look at that. So now the crate race is pulled even yet again, at least so far. Two to two on each side, holding crates. The stream keeps going in and out of focus. It's probably the out of focus. It's only going to go out of focus when their head is in front of the camera, but otherwise you should be fine. Is it not focused right now? When their arms are in front of the camera too, it might focus on their arms for a second, but right now it will be all on the ships. But I can set it to, it might be a good idea to set it to manual focus. It's just easier to set up the camera and not have to do it, worry about focusing it. But if it's going to constantly try to adjust to people's arms, then maybe we should change it. Same settings as Crossroads, though. Would that also make the overlay out of focus? Nope. <laughs> that's not how that works. If that's the case, I would reset your computer or throw it out the window. If the overlay is blurry, that that's strange. I've never I've never heard that one before. But yeah, the overlay is is a browser source. It always stays the same. It's kind of overlaid on top of everything. But let me know if you're still having issues. We can I can try to troubleshoot some things on my side maybe. Is this, but is anybody else having the same issue that Snaggletooth is having? Are, are things blurry or coming in and out of focus constantly? Is the overlay blurry for anybody? Is Snaggletooth potentially tripping on some sort of substance? Stay tuned to find out. 
Let's listen in. And hope that our lack of mods doesn't matter. It's range three, I assume, into Jake. Um. Yeah. Yeah, range three into Jake. Okay. Dirge into Jake. Synced laser cannons. Can he get lucky again? Can Dan McGinn do the McGinn thing? Two hits. Hey, two is not bad. Spend the focus. Oh, yeah, it sucks. He has to spend okay. his focus there. Good. And that's this one. Yes, I believe that is correct because this is Hera's focus. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's that five. The Mandalorian is going to take the range one. Jake has to spend Jake. his focus there. But now the Mandalorian got a good Four. shot range one. Ruh, and I say row. Uh, does that count as cocked? No. No, it's, it's flat. Not. Okay. So in that case, I will spend. Oh, flat on top of another die. One force to change this Does into a, a focus. A lock? So do I have oh, wait, to? Hold on, no, hold on. Wait, do I have to have you? Like, I have to have you in arc, yes? No, it's. Uh, yeah. While you defend and form attack, if there are, uh, if you are in the front arc. Oh, yeah, I'm in the front arc here and here. Uh, at range one to two of two or more enemy ships, change one of your blank results to a. Yep. And yeah. And here, and that makes three. Oh, so Mandalorian's ability. This is the first time I've ever seen our stream. The Mandalorian's ability gets uh, triggered. You have to spend a force for that, though, yeah? Yes. And then I would have to use my other one to change it. So no, I think what I no. would do Hold on. is uh, I will spend the lock. The math is probably better. Yeah, I'll spend the lock to reroll both. Yeah, the math. Yeah, we were checking. It's uh, he doesn't want to spend the force because then it's he only has one left. You have to spend the force to use his ability. Oh yeah. It's okay. It's an, it's an oh yeah, yeah. All right. So so all right. So just change the blank to a focus, and then you could spend both force. I could spend both force. Yes, one shield down, uh, and I could spend both force or I could spend the lock. I want to guarantee the damage, and I think I'm going to be regening force this round anyway. So I okay, will, we're good. Uh, <laughs> I was like, no, you don't need to spend the force. force. How do you do it? Okay, so we're on spending three. both force for four. Oh, nicely done by Jake Farrell Williams. Jake. Shit. It's he, de he deserved that, though. Poor, poor Steven had not been rolling the best greens. And there you go, variants. It evens out. Jake with no tokens getting shot twice, and he only takes a shield so far, including a double modded range one shot. Seems pretty good, if you ask me. Not big on the cup rolling. Well, do you want me to tell him that, Colfax? Maybe I should have him on. I should, I should put him in the chair next to me and be like, you know what, Colfax says he hates your cup. He, he sees, he, 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 I see you beef. <laughs> yeah, I also am not a huge. Uh, also, like the dice tower thing, you know, when people use dice towers, I'm like, oh my god, like really? There's like massive things that are just like tumbling down. I'm like, I mean, what are we really doing this right now? <laughs> and no lock stays he didn't use it uh in planning i will ask if jake is still alive nice roll there from dan um sabine sabine has a shot on mando obstructed range, range two. two yep yeah we'll take it okay Oh. Uh, it feels pretty all right. Okay, rolling three. Mando? Uh, one evade, uh, so lose a shield. Shield and then gains a force. Gain a force yep. back. Shield down on the DeLorean. Okay. Um, And then... So that's that three and yep. that three, and then we got Keo. So Keo, range two, I think we already measured for, yeah? Into uh, Mando? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. So Kyo Venzi now shooting into the Mandalorian and okay. whiffing completely. And then, so then we go to my threes. Yep. Uh, so we'll start with Quinjass range one into Kyo. Uh-oh. Ion Fire cannon? Ion cannon. Uh-oh. Rut row raggy here. Uh, we will spend oh, the focus. That's that going to be sense. hit, hit, Three. crit, although the crit will not deal crit since this is an ion. Um, Kyo Venzi ionized. So it's just be a damage. Yeah, I'll take a shield and an ion. Uh, yeah. So half damage yeah, um, on Kyo Venzi and ionized. So he's got two damage on him, right? Yeah, so shields are down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, okay, now we've got uh, Manaru. Yep. Range. Did I get out to range two? Yes, they do. Uh, hold on. Let's hold them both down. Yeah, range is range two. two. All right. Good job, Jake Stern. Damn. So Jake's barrel roll gets out of range one, one two, of Manaru here. Two. Range okay. two nope. shot from the Rooster. I'm just going to say Skr. I'm going to add Ski and Skr uh, in. Good. Oh, my gosh. That Jake! It is. Jake! Don't use Daddy there again. Ooh, um, Jake takes one. Jake's a crit. Yeah. Um, and the crit is... Oh, it was into the hole. We missed the damage. Blinded. Jake. I missed the damage. Yeah. Blinded cool. pilot in to oh. Jake Pharrell Williams. There we go. Oh, you we can't see with the glare. Time to time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. And that's it, right? So, blind a pilot, you can uh, only modify your attack yes. dice with force for its okay. default so effect. Jake doesn't have force, no so not murdered. great. You've got two, two boxes, boxes, and you have two. I so, two boxes to two boxes as it's a six to four point lead for Mr. McGinn. Good round of damage, though. You got Keo down to half, Ion, and Jake down to one. However, you got your, one, your two pointer on one hole as well, facing the other way. But in a pretty good position. I don't know if, if Bosky Boy is going to get shot. I will be right back. I'm going to check on the lock that was spent that maybe wasn't spent. All right, everybody. The bomber jacket. The bomber jacket is coming on. All right. Hello. So, guys, what's pretty cool is I guess a few of you guys subscribed in between our last stream and this one. So as you guys can see down here, the scenario die we're going to give away, probably give it away after round two. And then we are, uh, we are, I think, let me see right now. Let's actually hide the store image. We don't need the logo up there. Right now, we are at 141. So we're 19 away from the uh, set of five of the felt-backed Crossroads Classic custom objective tokens. They got the Death Star in there. different schematics. It's pretty sweet. I'll show it to you guys in a bit. Do we need to pay extra for this? What does that mean? Extra for Yo Mama? Oh, for this content? This? Yeah, on our OnlyFans. 312 Squadron's OnlyFans. We're, we're everywhere, folks. Any, anytime, anywhere you like to... Any any place that you like to see uh, your 312 crew, you can find it. This, this is my alter ego. Take the glasses off. You don't like... The objective tokens, they really are. Yeah, and you would know because you were there. It was good to see you, Colfax. Seriously, it's been too long. Of course, it's in perfect focus while Nick's in the picture. What is with your camera? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm so confused, Snaggletooth. Snaggletooth, that's, uh, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> You're like, everything's blurry. I'm like, dude, put your glasses on. <laughs> Live look at Snaggletooth watching. <laughs> Actually, sorry, wrong camera. Live look at Snaggletooth watching. <laughs> you're, you're cracking me up, dude. I'm like, I'm like, what? Volume low. Nick, your volume is low. Nick, volume low. Volume low. Volume low. 
<laughs> like, how is it low? I'm literally clipping. Volume low. Oh, sorry. Sorry, my volume is low. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't hear Matt. Hello, I'm Matt Carey. I am a scrub. That was Matt. That was Matt. He's here. He's just very quiet. Volume low. I have lost it, guys. You guys, you guys, some of you guys really do get to me. Like, picture, pictures fo focused. Overlay, unfocused. <laughs> Nick, I could only, you're only speaking in Spanish. Why aren't you speaking in English? All right, there's the road roll. Round four is commencing. Commence primary ignition. Stop. Blurry again. All right, while they move, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, still blurry. How I'm looking at two monitors with the full game put up, and it doesn't look blurry. Is it blurry for anybody else? Let's do a straw poll. Is it blurry right now? Are there blurs? Oh, you're just being a. You're just being a butt. <laughs> you're booing a booty. It is very crisp. It's like a tasty apple. Thank you. I think that's just the stream buffering. Honestly, yes, it probably is. It, you should be watching it. Um, okay, you know what? Snaggletooth. If, if unless you're still messing with me, you might still be. But go and the, when you go to the um, playback settings, there is an auto feature which will constantly change according to your incoming bit rate, your internet. Set it to 1080p, and it will not do that. It will not buffer. If it buffers, it will freeze and then keep going in, in 1080. But it won't constantly change resolutions. So yeah, make switch it from auto. No blur here. Thank you, Jersey Shore. Yeah, I set it to 10 EP. There you go. Boom. Boom a rooski. Yeah. Freaking go, dude. Let's go. Oh, okay. I'm tired. That was a lot. That was all the energy I had for the rest of the day. My God, we've done it. I Dude, I lost my mind a long time ago. This is... um, So w when we do the Windy City Trial stream on the 18th, that'll be like the seventh in-person event we've done this year. It's a lot. Easy on these desert. Yeah, well, not, not so easy on the eyes, you know, when you're looking like this. Uh, the self bump roll that was on Sabine. Uh, I'm just gonna move Sabine. Force token. Yep. Shields down on Sabine now after the self bump. That's what I love straight in the uh, This goes back. Oh, all right. So got me to crack up when I look away. Look like, yeah, dude. Uh, I'm I'm here to make you laugh, you know. And this is I'm here to swoon the entire the audience. Yeah. So the swoonster. Uh, all right. So then four straight. <laughs> Uh, here, I'll mark that's what I'm here for. Okay. I don't have any. I don't have any anybody to yeah. balance me out. So you guys get all dick and nothing else. It's 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 unfortunate, but it's the reality we live in. In this economy, you know, you can't ask for much more. Okay, great. Now it's only five dollars. It's only five dollars. So Arvel's gonna go shooting through. And he's gonna, is he gonna run into himself again? It looks like he will. So finishing position does not touch hair. Correct. It does not, okay. So you're into, into the Mando, that's all right. Does it fit? No, I don't think so. Apparently oh, that's POV, you're, you're trying to get it to fit. Against cool. the template, so. Right, so we're there. This is where we touch. Okay. Your back POV, your back is hurting. Okay, and then yay for stress focus. Jake is here. Stress. Volume low, blur. Hey, blurry volume. The, the volume is blurry. 
The focus right. is low. Okay. Um, threes are done. That's my threes. Okay, my threes. Uh, we'll start with Quinn. Yep. Quinn is going to do a one hard. Is this box on Keo? Yes. Keo's box. All right. So one hard for Quinn Jast. Quinn Please, Jast is just no, bullying Keo Benzi with this ion cannon. It's ridiculous. Nope. You are not. Not on the cloud. I will be next turn. Can you have some mushrooms as well? Is that what you think I'm on? Is mushrooms? Or is that what? Maybe Joel's on the shrooms. It's funny. Since the stream started, we were at 971 followers. We lost one. Somebody had his, his fed up with the volume being too low, and they left the 32 crew. 30 away from 1,000 followers is pretty nifty. It's only 30 followers. My typing would imply that, yes, I'm on something. You ever wonder what happened to the other 26 Snaggletooths and why we only have Snaggletooth 27? I assume when Joel was creating his Twitch handle, he just tried Snaggletooth. It's like, taken. There was like Snaggletooth underscore one, taken, underscore two, taken, underscore three, taken. <laughs> Quinn taking a focus. It's like, there's 26 Snaggletooths taken? Okay, you don't have to hit me with facts and logic, okay? I just wanted, I wanted to imagine you just couldn't pick <laughs> until the 27th Snaggletooth. That's a lot of snaggly teeth. <laughs> it was just way funny. Yeah, can you imagine? You're just like just at the computer just getting really fed up because there's so many snaggle teeth that have been taken. You're like, are you kidding me? What's with this being such a popular username? <laughs> Manaru's gonna bump into into Jake. Oh, great. All right. So, Manaru, red focus. Red focus. Yep. Manaru still has a box. Yep. Manaru still has notorious charges. Yep. Okay. Sure does. Uh, so that's that. So those are my two threes. They are. Uh, so, we then go to your fours. Yeah, you'd be surprised uh, what's right. taken on Jake, Twitch, right? Jake is stressed, right? He is. Yeah. And we're going to two bank to relieve I, the stress. I got it. So, this way? Yeah. Two bank. Does it fit? I think so. We're going to have to mark, folks. We're marking. Mark my words. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. That Jake, Jake uh, was not the bumper. It was Keo right. that Manaru bumped into. Right now, it's close, but I think sorry. Apologies that. for being a silly goose. Dude, that is close. Yeah, does Manaru have him? I don't think Manaru has him. Quinn does though. An ion cannon into Jake could be enough. If you barrel, you can get that focus. And then you could always one or two hard and grab a crate next turn, perhaps. No, it's out. Um. So the only possibility for I gotta be honest, I don't love I don't love where Steven's ships are right now. In terms of damage. Jake was shields was one helpful way. One Didn't Jake take a crit and it was uh, no, it was just a shield. Who has the crit? Um, it's not Jake. Oh, they got the damage wrong. I'm pretty sure it was Jake. Um, yes, you're correct. So Jake has one health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so shield, yeah, yeah, you're good. So it's blinded pilot. Um, right. And so, and what, what is blinded pilot? Can't do anything? Can't, can't, yeah. So I can define it. I just can't modify my attack. And he's, right. and he's not attacking. Right. He's got to so. do a better commentary than um, I am. I'm just kind of letting them steal the show, here. huh? No stress. Target lock on you. It's like, this is, I'm doing a solo show. Get the whole setup here. I got my monitor here. Scorekeeping here. There's... The scorekeeping. Got that. This. This. I got my microphone. Got this one as a backup just in case. Good morning. Okay. Hello there. Yes. Twitchy 5x5. Five five, not to be confused with Twitchy 4x4. Four four. Sworn nemesis with Twitchy 5x5. Five five. I am just on one today, guys. I think it's because I had coffee. for the. I just do not drink coffee very often, but I drink some coffee. Okay. Great. Focus. It's all downhill from here, folks. And all this stuff is on Keo. Correct. All right. Dunkin Donuts coffee as well. Okay, so that's my four. Now we go to my fives. All right, so Dirge set up to move now. All right, everybody hit me with what you think the Mandalorian's loadout should be. It should be more than 10. I think it's six points. The Mandalorian should have like 15 or 16 loadout. That's That's my take of the day. Good, our first take of the day. 10 is just crazy low. 
10 would make sense if he was five points. 30. Okay, J-Man. J-Man tripling his loadout. Apparently, there's multiple people on drugs this morning watching the stream. I'm concerned about your health. You should go see a doctor and consult them about your drug usage. Here is the Mandalorian. The DeLorean. Is, is this the 5K we've all been waiting for? It is. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. If you're not going to bring them in warm, certainly going to bring them in cold. Also just got just just the coffee. Yeah, fair enough. We should still we should still do an X-Wing hot ones. Where we like play a game of X-Wing and we eat chicken nuggies with like proceeding like more and more intensity with the hot sauces. Hot ones X-Wing edition. Or hot ones could just be a stream of just me because you know i'm so hot i'm a hot one Oof, sorry guys i think i just had a heart attack from the self-inflicted cringe that that statement just exuded so you used uh contraband there no yeah contraband must have been what was under the razor crest title the hidden elicits okay and then we're gonna do dirge is gonna do five straight wow Dirge going fast. Hmm. Shit. Too fast. Fuck. Dan McGinn dropping all of the expletives on stream where he usually doesn't swear. Yeah, this guy. Nothing to be done. Went too fast. He went too fast, says Dan. So it looks like there will not be arc on Kyo Venzi. You needed another shot there. You don't get it. Although Mandalorian could take that shot. Gonna take focus. There's an incredible amount of tokens on the board. You haven't seen nothing um, yet. It gets Hera. worse before it gets better. Hera, the last Turn. to move here. Turning down, it looks like. Yes. Got that arc facing backward vectored cannons. Uh, it's more like 13 to 15 points. Well, sure. But also... Eh. <laughs> Give him more loadout. Give my boy more loadout. Scum needs all the love it can get. But you're right. You do raise eight points. The issue with like taking false transponder codes is you reveal in the system phase that sounds like, cool, I'll just lock you. And then you're like, well, great. Now it's gone. So I think people actually prefer con uh, contraband or overtuned modulators. Got to re-roll it. Uh, for a crit. Okay. One crit here from Harris Sindula. One of eight. Cool. Gets the evade. I'll take it, dude. I want that. Give me Fearless. Give my boy Fearless. Also, just the fact that that dial is so bad. It is such a bad dial, everybody. Can we all concur that the dial is terrible? It's fine until you got to clear your stress and then it's bad. The Wargaming Dad has graced us with his presence. Hello there. Hello there, Wargaming Dad. Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. You can't win, but there are alternatives to fighting. All right, so checking for the Mandalorian shot into Kiovenzi here. What do we have? All right. It is range one, I think. Let's see what comes out of the cup. Uh, it's range two. Um, spend the focus for hit crit. Makes sense. Right. Hit crit here. Oh, um, Kyo. I have a focus. I have an evade from Hera if I'm in range two, which I am. So Hera will pass. Nicely done. Harrison Dula bailing out Kyo Venzi. Not dropping a box either. All right. Uh, <laughs> Joel, you so thought you could just throw Babu on there. It's hilarious. He thought you could take Babu on Razor Crest title. No Legendary. You're a legend. <laughs> That's hilarious. Great. All right, we'll start with. Oh, that Kyo would be so Ranger. funny. Or Hondo. Can you imagine a crew? So, Kyo, <laughs> we're there. For one. One evade. Another single evade. I am streaming. Oh, no. You, you, you uh, fell into the trap shooting at Manaru. Notorious yep. now lands on Kyo Venzi a strain. Um, same, same target. Okay, range one. Nice uh, roll from Arvel. 
three hits into Manaru. No crits, though. To evade, oh, so, my gosh, Manaru. Uh, Manaru loses her first shield. Hooray. Wow. Okay. That's it. All right. Uh, so then we go to my threes. Yep. All right. So we'll start with the range zero. Very, from very easy to hide, Babu. Yep. That's true. That's true. Q has two left, right? What's up? Q has two left. Uh, that's correct. Okay. Um, right, Kyo Venzi. Going for the kill shot is damn. Ooh, do I want Kyo? No, I'm going to have Quinn Jast shoot first. Okay. Um, Because you're strained now. Yep. Unfortunately, this uh, game might end this round. It's just kind of hard to believe. Do regular... but... Yeah, we're going to do our regular attack. You got it? Three dice instead of four. That's good. Wow. Dead. Kyo Venzi will go down. And then how much was Kyo? Uh, three points. Okay. That, that, that's going to get Dan up to nine. Oh my God. Could be enough. I just turned Eight. tuned in. What the heck is happening here? Nine. Everything is happening and nothing at the same time. No simultaneous. Six A-wings? What, what's the big deal? Never off. seen anything like that before, have you? Uh, the box. Against Scum? Hell yeah. Scum winning right now, too. Hey, did I miss a subscription? Did somebody subscribe and I just completely missed the, subscri the subscription? Because we have 142 yeah, now, which means that somebody subscribed. That means we're 18 away from the, the felt Death Star objective tokens. Pretty nifty. Scenario die being given away after round two, by the way, everybody. Don't you forget it. If you do forget it, I will not forgive you. And that's it, right? Um, yep. So, so that, right. So we just get two boxes. Correct. 11 so points. Is 11 to six. To six. Yep. Feel Last round, round five. They'll go five rounds today for round one of Salvage Mission. Scum taking a five point lead. So what can Steven do here? Well, you got to take Bosk off the board. It's going to get you up to eight. If you can get, if you can hold three crates, then it, that will get you to 11. Nobody else has really taken much damage though. Twitchy 5x5 five five with the Twitch Prime sub. Bezos Bucks coming our way. 10 months. Thank you. Feels like GG. Yeah, for sure. I think so. But thank you very much for the sub. Let's see if that updates us to 143. I'm not sure. It takes a, a moment to update. But either way, really do appreciate you. Sometimes resubs don't count because it counted earlier. Like it counts before the stream. It's weird. Whenever it re whenever your subscription renews, it'll immediately count it. So if you like gave me the notification that you subscribed after the renewal, it doesn't count it towards the total number because it's already been counted in the past. But that's a long-winded say way of saying thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, let's go to our player review. So Dan mansplaining to to uh, Stephen how to fly A wings, even though he plays scum. Stephen, you know, politely nodding like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Dan, that's enough. I don't need any more of that from you. I'm gonna let them know this is the last round. I'll be right back. That was easy. So, you know, Steven, um, kind of experiencing, I think one of the issues, well, there's nothing, there's nothing really like inherently wrong with the list. It's just, it's just the damage output, um, is not there as a wing's going to a wing sometimes. Let's actually move Keo Venzi down. Are those those are lucky socks? Unfortunately, the luck hasn't rubbed off yet. Howard Radio, shouldn't you be hanging out with your girlfriend, bro? I'm all alone. I'm all alone. I'm all alone. Is that a gang thing? Yeah, Stephen does look like a kind of guy who would be in a gang, right? Flashing signs, like, yeah. She's sleeping in today. Well, that's cool. Like, how late is she sleeping in? It's, it's 11 o'clock. 
That's usually with the latest I wake up. The power of sleep is very powerful, though. We all love our sleep in time. I, w I miss it. I could use it. It's been... I haven't been able to sleep in on the weekend in a long time, guys. Like, I ain't sleeping in these days. Well, actually, maybe I did get to sleep in once, so I'm a liar. I'm full of it. So that was time of the round. The stream table knows this is their last round, so they're just taking their time to send their last dials. Steven has to, basically has to kill the Mandalorian and Bosk. I mean, I, if you kill the Mandalorian, it's enough. So if you can sink in enough shots into him, who knows? Everybody else is too healthy. Far too healthy. The doctor has given them a good bill of health. You get the nice ASMR, some breathing, the X-Wing player's breaths. Their last breaths before the end of the round. I feel like this is your ideal X-Wing time, is it true? What? This is like your ideal time to play X-Wing? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, all right, here we go. Road. One hit. That's me again. All right. All right. Uh, Systems. This dial is face up. Well, cool. I'm um, glad she had a good birthday. So oh, it's a dead person. Yeah, so it's this one. I, I was with Peter yeah. yesterday. Dude, yeah, his yeah, baby that, Anthony that, and Deborah okay. and Jaxie Poo, the, the dirt doggy. Wait. It was fun. Or did I? We had I a good time. Wings. Did I not? Oh, my word. Steven, why are we falling apart so early? Tell, tell Zoe I said happy belated birthday and then tell her not that she really needed to hear a random guy <laughs> say happy birthday, but I, 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 the birthday wish still stands. So he's like, who? <laughs> some guy, some bro. So three more rounds of X-Wing after this. Again, round four will feature the final two to determine who wins the world's invite. There's a chance that somebody who plays on stream already has one, so we would get a roll down. But either way, we want to know who wins this dang thing. This GD thing. So we got a vectored boost here from Hera, but the arc is still facing back. So I just, just not going to be able to... Eh. Steven is just a colorful person. Yes, he's a good guy. Whenever I see him, he always gives me a big hug. All right, what's next? Who who are we moving now? Is this this is Arvel? Yeah, we just got a mess of tokens. He's moving on top of right now. Maybe we want to move those out of the way. No, we're gonna we're gonna mark them. POV, you're marking ships. POV stands for point of view for those of you at home. Hey, somebody just subscribed. Is that the snag? The snag the tooth? The tooth? Is the tooth subscribing to us? Hey, thanks, Joel. Much appreciated there. That should get us to 143. So 17 away. 17 away. 17. 17. Away from our next goal. Again, the scenario die will be given away after round two before the lunch break. Don't you forget it. He made me laugh out loud three times already. I try to be funny. I don't know. I, I try to be to, to bring a little bit of of knowledge because I don't totally suck at this game and mostly just c c comedy. Because, uh, you know, um, X-Wing streams can be fun, even though we're usually not here to have fun. Yeah. We're not here to have fun. 
Not here for a haircut. But uh, yeah, thank you very much, Joel. I appreciate it. The uh, Crossroads replays have already hit YouTube. I have to schedule the top cut games, but uh, round five, I believe, posted today at 9 a.m. So if you aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel, that is where you're going to find a lot of this, of the, these games uh, re-uploaded and edited. Edit, I use edited loosely. Just in case you don't want to deal with the subscription paywall, this bastards, you know. Oh, gosh. Whoever set it up so that you could only be subscribed to watch archives is some jerk, some guy, some handsome devil. <laughs> Screwed up. Uh, Manaru is going to pop uh, Contraband Cybernetics. Yep. Manaru sleuthing. And then Manaru is going to do uh, a too hard. Oh, and may not turning the other way. This way, up the board. Yep towards you um, here we go. oh so much marking going on so much marking so much marking there's a little nice quick shot of carrie to to just walk in front of the camera there no biggie cameo appearance volume low Uh, nice. It will fit. On Durger or on Mando? Uh, that's on. Uh, that is on Mando, I guess. I'm not sure why that's there. Uh, I'm, bl I'm stressing out the moment. Okay, so Manaru is stressed with a box, and then a random charge appears. Manaru is going to uh, focus and rotate to the back. Ooh, to gain focus, rotate stress, from the rare punishing one. That is okay. Because contraband. And we're out of stress tokens. We'll just. It's fine. It's last turn. Yeah. You're stressed. Yeah, I have. Right. Fair enough. All right, so that's Manaru, Quinjass, and Manaru. Those are my threes. We go to your fours. I do yeah. need more stress tokens. I thought like eight was enough for you six turn. or seven, whatever I have. Clearly not. This way? Yes. I really yeah, need not, like 12. Not over the rock. You lived, Jake? Yeah. Question mark? Jake, Find you're out. a, you're a liver. You. You'll live. Yeah. Run, you Jake, run. Oh, you have a box. You can't boost. I can't boost, but I'm going to focus. Okay. Let's focus it. All right. Um, You're taking the crates four. to Isengard. Okay, so to uh, wrong. My four. Wrong franchise. Uh, so, three bank, please. Yep. And is Boss going to get away as well? Looks like he will. The one that got away. The one. Just the one him. that got away. Uh, so let's see. So then we go to my fives. Correct. All right. So we'll go. I hope with, I don't get a uh, copyright strike for that. First, Perfect. Carrie, go Katie go Perry impression. Straight. Could be. Could be. A, yep. Could be a tough one. Um. Here I can mark out the front. That'd be great. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> it's just so All many more. So much marking. So many tokens. The Manaru. So Dirge gonna try to jump over Manaru. Manaru five straight. Right but not there. just the Manaru, but the women Aru and children Aru too. I'm sorry, Dirge five straight, and Dirge is gonna take uh, a focus. That makes sense. And then, and then we yeah, I agree. That loadout works for me. Uh, four straight. I, I had three people leave because of my jokes. I think so I'm doing something blue, good here. Here's one of these stresses. We're going to bump. We can just mark it off the side. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. I got it. Oh, you're saying there's hope? There's going to be hope. Uh-oh. All right. We've A got new the hope. One stress. Oh, this is the Mando Optics, I'm guessing, or something. All right. So one stress, one force. Okay. All right. Arvel gonna be able to do range uh, one. Um, or Sabine. Oh, Sabine moved already. Hera's gonna do two turn. Two turn, the arc facing the wrong way. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so that clears the stress. Oops, sorry. Thanks. I do have arc, so we're gonna grab a target lock. Oh, oh, that's right. You have. Uh, you have a missile. You still have your cannon pointed out the back. You've got magpulse warheads. Okay. I'm gonna magpulse you to, to kingdom come. Okay. And here is. I can magpulse you to kingdom come, folks. Yeah, you heard no, it here first. Really happy and satisfied that we're pointed out the back. All right, here we go. Um, so here. Uh, we're gonna have to pulse it. That warhead will be pulsing. Mm -hmm. So here is a Magpulse warhead from Steven. Hera taking the shot into the Mandalorian. His shields are down. Oh, you need three to guarantee the hit. Spending the lock. You hope for at least one more. You get three. That's going to that's gonna hit the Mandalorian. And it's going to hit him where it hurts. So, take the shield. So the shields are down. Uh, so crit. His win condition, though, crit. is to yeah, kill the Mandalorian. So he back. is magpulsing yeah. the Mandalorian to try to win the game. Jam and then deplete. Which yeah. is the one that'll... Oh, direct hit. A That's direct hit good. brings the Mandalorian that down to five. Wants to work. All right. All right. This could be a big blown game if Dan You're loses. Oh, um, but I get to change a blank to uh, focus. Oh, it doesn't no, matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It still hits no matter what. That's why I was gonna say. There's a reason I didn't do this. Yeah. All right. All right. So that's your six. Yeah. Let's continue to listen in. Fives. This five doesn't have a shot. Uh, let's see. We'll take. Five hole left on the Mandalorian. Halved, right? Correct. So we'll do two into Sabine. Uh -oh. That makes sense. Range two. Yep. Two dice into Sabine. Sabine does have a focus. For one, uh, I can. Sh I'm not gonna do it. I mean, I don't I think you can. can. Focus, but not spending my force. I was gonna say there's range one to two, yeah. not zero. There we go. Okay. Got In right. the front. Oh, so front arc though. Yeah, fives. never mind. So Hera does have uh, you, so you would have been able to do it. Dummy. Oh well. And then we go to your fours. Yep. Uh, my. Your four doesn't have Oh, he didn't rotate. Arbol's got it facing the back. I, I didn't give a shot on uh, Dirge. No, Arbol! No, no. All right. My four doesn't have a shot. Uh, we go to my threes. Yep. Yeah, the uh, mic to so audio is great. Will take Isn't it? It's dope. We all know what's going on. It's kind of fun. Range. Oh, do we not have it? Yeah, yeah I love right? it. I appreciate that. It's my range favorite three. feature yeah. of the so stream, of our shot. many Did features here at 312. Yeah. Uh... Closest point to closest point, right? Is it so obstructed? This, into this, it is not obstructed. All right, cool, cool. Unobstructed. So four dice against your two. two. Scoot saying Mando signing. You bet it. You not bet it. Focus. You no, bet ya. Focus, focus, not focus. All right. Hello, so those, Matt B. People are three. coming in and saying hello. Hello there. Like hello there. Ion cannon shot. Hello there. Oh, no. Sorry. That's that's my three. Why yes. My, uh, your first player, your threes need to shoot. They do. You talk I, like right, I type. Right. Yeah, right. Thank you. I, I am deeply insulted yep. by that, but it's probably correct. Uh, probably not three. wrong. I think it's unobstructed. Yep. Uh, question. Hilarious. Yeah, so, hold on. Let's grab. I think that is definitely obstructed. Yeah. Because of that lip that yeah, little yeah, thing yeah. sticks yep. out there. So, four dice. Yeah. I mean, it does, it, does it matter? I mean, I guess for the crate, knocking the crate off, judge. it does. Judge! Judge! Ooh, POV, you just called the judge. Yes, you do. Um, I've got templates for you if you need them. We have templates. No, here. I've got templates uh, here. I've got you. So, um, is Arvel to dirge, to dirge obstructed. Um, obstructed or not? Out the rear arc. Arvel yeah. shooting out the rear arc at dirge through this cloud here. Players should help the judge by doesn't holding the ships have, down. Dirge doesn't. I mean, he doesn't even have them in arc. Yeah. No, I do. It's. The back arc. Yeah. Yeah. The that's the side arc. You're you're not flush with the, the yeah. line. Yeah. Oh, there we go. But, I don't think you have it. Steve. But he's still not. That's what I'm saying. It's not. I don't think you got it, buddy. Like. It's not enough. Use your own here. Use the template yourself. It's off this side. I got arc. Well, I mean, when I'm doing this line, let's let's yeah. do it again, right? Okay, I'm doing so, because before you, like, you weren't. Okay, yeah, I know, I know, I'm, I'm getting there. Let's do it right. No, look where the line. Wait, hey, stop, stop. Here, yeah, move your hand. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you got it. Now look where the line is. That line is the not center line. The, the center line is not on the base. So you're still not flush with the the line over here. Ah, uh, sorry, Mando. Sorry, I'm moving. I'm moving. 
Okay. Well, we get a stick Schulte in to take a look at. Yeah, I mean, we need another set of hands. Okay, yeah, you're in. And okay, it is obstructed. It is obstructed. Okay. Right. So the, the main question. Right. Like, cool. Five. Four dice for dirge. All right, so two dice out the rear. Watch not matter at all. No oh, crits. One. Yep, doesn't matter. No crit. That's what I was hoping for, and right. you got all the things. All right, Sabine needs a monster crit chain here, yes? Yes. So rolling two against your... Two. Yeah, two. not going to happen. Did you shoot with Mando? I did. I rolled two dice. Oh, that's right. Um, spend the target lock. Yeah, you need the crit chain. Right? She had one. Was that an orange? Oh, that was the orange one, yes. Okay. All right. Mando's ability is still going to be able to cancel one. Yeah. Uh, I'm spending the focus for two, so not enough. Uh, so Cockman, it doesn't blank matter. into a... Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered focus. anyways. Spend the two force. Yep. So, right, there's no more shots coming. Yep. All right. Dodged. Oh, man. Good game. Yeah, GG's. All right. And then three to one, two on the final scenarios. Yeah. So 14 to, 14 to eight. eight. Yeah. Okay. 14 to 8 is our final. GG so. to both players. That is the game as the scum pulls it out with the big hog. That's adorable. Oh, my God.